Hey, ChemStars, this is Mrs. Vanoy bringing you another stoichiometry. Uh, we are still in section 9.2, and this is going to be your second video for 9.2. So we left off in the first video um, where we taught you what a BCA table was. It was before, change, and after. Uh, we learned how to do a mole ratio, how we divide by what you have, uh, and then multiply by what you want, okay? So we, we learned the process. I'm hoping you did the homework uh, or in class or whatever of how to do the mole ratio. You should be very, very good at doing the mole ratio at this point, okay? So we're going to uh, fill in the complete BCA tables. So may I highly, highly recommend you get out your periodic tables uh, with your polyatomic ions with them because we are going to need those. So if you need to pause this, go right ahead. All right, so what do we have here? We have um, six moles of magnesium, our burn and excess oxygen. All right, so um, that's what we have. So we don't start, don't put a six here. All right, you're gonna balance it. The six will go in the B column, all right? Um, so now what? Well, what am I gonna do here? What kind of reaction is this? Go back in the chapter eight files again, all right? So we had synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, and co uh, combustion. So what do you think we have? An element and an element. What's the only thing an element and an element can do? It can be synthesis, all right? So I need to make two into one. I need to make magnesium oxide. So here I put magnesium and oxide together, but what do you have to do next? You're not done, all right? What's the charge of magnesium always? Plus two. What's the charge of oxygen always? Look it up. Negative two. Do you have to crisscross? No. Is that the formula for magnesium oxide? Yes. Okay, so now what? What do I have to do next? I have to balance it. So do you notice there's going to be a procedure? The first thing you have to do is write down your reactants. The next thing is to figure out what your products are. The next thing is, is how to balance it, all right? So um, I have elements. Uh, there's nothing I should really save to the end, so let's just do this. I have one magnesium, one magnesium, two oxygens, one oxygen. What do you do? Hopefully you put a two here. Now what do you do? Hopefully you put a two here. All right, now I'm ready to do stoichiometry. All right, I need a BCA table. I need a line. All right. Now I'm ready to do something, all right? So what do I know? I have six moles of magnesium. That's where the six goes. What else do I know? I have excess oxygen. How do I know that? It says so. Oh, okay. What else do I know? How many moles of magnesium oxide do I start with? Remember what I told you last time? Note bene, all right, note well, you have zero moles of product. Don't forget that. That's going to be easy, all right? So how do I figure out my change? Well, which one's going to get used up first? I bet the magnesium is. Why? Because I have tons of oxygen, don't I, all right? So I'm going to subtract six moles uh, of magnesium. I'm going to use up all my magnesium, all right? So do you remember how I finish off the rest of the... A chart here. Remember this? What's six divided by two? Three. What's three times one? Three. Let's try it again. What's six divided by two? Three. What's three times two? Six. All right, now some simple math problem, okay? What do I have to do? Well, what is six minus six? Zero. What's a ton minus three? A ton. Okay, here we go. And now what? What is zero plus six? Six. Okay. Now, I just asked you to complete the BCA table. I didn't ask you anything else. But could I ask you, okay, how many moles of oxygen uh, were used? Three moles. How many moles of magnesium oxide did you create? 
Six moles. All right. Um, how much magnesium is left? Zero moles. All right. There's a, there's different questions you can be asked. All right. But if you can set up that BCA table, then you can answer any question. Okay. So let's look at the next question. All right. So you need eight moles of sodium dichlorate. Is sodium chlorate is heated. Wow. All right. What's the first thing you have to do? Well, what's sodium chlorate? Why don't you look at your polyatomic ion chart and you figure out what sodium chlorate is. Go ahead and, and pause this if you need to. All right, welcome back. Well, let's check this out. Here is my sodium chlorate. And what do I have to worry about next? I have to worry about the charges. So what is the charge of sodium always? Plus one, hope you knew that. All right, look at your chart now. What's the charge of chlorate? Negative one, that's right. Is there any crisscrossing? No, there is not. Is that the right formula for sodium chlorate? Yes, it is. All right, well folks, I have one reactant. What kind of reaction is this gonna be? Is it synthesis, decomposition, same replacement, double replacement, or combustion? What has one reactant? It's decomposition. You're right. All right. So let's go back. So I have one reactant. So what am I going to make? Do you remember what you make? Well, if you go back and look at your notes, what do all chlorates decompose into? Take away the all the oxygens you can, and then what's left over? The, the metal chloride, the sodium chloride. Do you just know in your heart of hearts that this is the right formula for sodium chloride? If it weren't so common, we'd have to go back plus one, minus one, no crisscross. All right, that, there you go, okay? All right, now what? What do you have to do? You have to balance this, okay? So go ahead and balance it. What'd you get? All right, um, I found one sodium, one sodium, one chlorine, one chlorine, three oxygens, two oxygens. Uh-oh, so what should I do? I should multiply this by a two and multiply this by a three. Okay, now I have six oxygens on both sides, but uh oh, I need to do something about this now, don't I? If I have two sodiums and two chlorines, I need to put a two and a three. Hopefully that worked out for you. All right, what's next? All right, I need a BCA table, don't I? All right, I sure do. And don't forget your line. Okay, let's fill in. What do I know right now? I have eight moles of sodium chlorate. How many moles of sodium chlorate and, and uh, oxygen do I have? Note bene, what did I tell you back in the prior video? If it's a product, how much do you start with? None. They haven't been made yet. You haven't made them yet. You haven't been producing them yet. You haven't started yet. You don't have any products, okay? So it's the only thing I can do. The only thing I can do is bring down the eight, right? Notice I have a negative here, by the way, minus eight. So now what? What's eight divided by two? Four. What's four times two? Eight. Notice I have a plus eight. Why? It's a product. All right. Now what? What's eight divided by two? Four. Four times three is 12. Notice it's a plus 12 because it's a product, okay? So now what? just do your math. What's eight minus eight? Zero. What is eight or zero plus eight? Eight. What's zero plus 12? 12. Twelve, okay? I can ask you a whole bunch of questions, all right? How much, uh, how many moles of sodium chloride did I make? Look at your chart. Look at your A right here. How much did I make? I made 12. Uh, how much uh, oxygen did I make? I'm sorry, I said eight. eight. Eight sodium chlorides. I made 12 oxygens, all right? So you can ask a whole bunch of questions based on this chart, okay? All right, the next one. All right, I have 2.6 moles of methanol burned, all right? So what's the first thing you need to do? Well, here we go. I have methanol and it's gonna be burning. What, what, what do you use to burn anything? What must be present to burn? Oxygen. This one I'm gonna start with. All right, so what kind of reaction is this? Is this uh, synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, or combustion? Well, do I have an element and an element? 
Nope. Do I have one reactant? Nope. Do I have an element and an ionic compound? No, I don't. I have an element, but I don't have ionic. This is covalent. They're all nonmetals. All right. Do I have an ionic and an ionic? I definitely don't have that. Do I have a hydrocarbon and oxygen? Oh, I do. So what does that make this kind of reaction? Combustion. All right. So what am I going to make? What do you always make in a combustion? Carbon dioxide and water. Do you remember that? All right. So now what? We got to balance it. Well, what do I need to balance it? I need to save oxygens to the end. Why? Because oxygen shows up one, two, three, four places. So save it to the end. Uh, go ahead and balance this. It may take you a little bit longer. So go ahead and pause this and balance it. All right, how'd you do? Well, this is what I did first. I have one carbon, one carbon. That was nice. I have four hydrogens, two hydrogens. So I put a two here. All right, now what? I have um, oxygens. I have one oxygen plus two make three. And I have two and two make four. Are you kidding me? All right, so what do I need to do? I need to go back and put a two here. I need an even number of oxygens. Oh, no. So now if I have a two here, how many carbon dioxides do I need? I need two. So now what? I have four times two. I have eight. So I can't have, whoops, I can't have two anymore, right? I grabbed the wrong thing. Oh, no. I grabbed, nope, nope, grab the two. There we go. Grab the wrong thing. So I'm going to put the two away, and I'm going to put a what in its place? I'm going to put a four there. All right, now how many oxygens do I have? Well, what's two times two? Four. All right, how many is over on this side? Two times two is, um, I said that wrong. Two times two is four, and two is eight. So I have eight on this side. I have two on this side, so I need a total of six more, don't I? So I'm going to go ahead and put a three here, and that's going to work out marvelous, okay? All right, got to balance it now. No, no, I just balance it. I got to do B BCA now, all right? So I'm going to do BCA. And why don't you try this on your own first, all right? Okay. Go ahead and pause this and work out this table to the best of your ability. I'll, I'll come back. Don't worry. All right. Welcome back. I hope you paused it. So I know I have 2.6 moles here. I have lots and lots and lots of uh, O2s. And remember, I have zero and zero. Okay. Well, what number do I bring down? The 2.6. So did you have a calculator or something? What's 2.6 divided by 2? 1.3. What's 1.3 times 3? 3.9. Okay. What is 2.6 divided by 2? 1.3 times 2 is 2.6. What is 2.6 divided by 2 times 4? 5.2. All right. Uh, now what? Just do a matter of you know doing your addition here or subtraction. I subtract on the left side and I add on the right side because I'm making it. I'm using these up, so I'm going to subtract. I am making these, so I'm going to add. And there you go. We can ask a lot of questions like, uh, how much oxygen was used? Oh, I know that. 3.9 moles. Uh, how many moles of uh, carbon dioxide did you get? Oh, 2.6. You're right. How many moles of water did you make? 5.2. You're right. Okay. You can answer anything you want. Let's go to the next page. All right. Sorry about that. Let's not go on to the next page. Um, we're done with this um, video. So what would I like? I'd like you to do this page and this page. All right. So do the next two pages. When you are done, then um, Ms. McCauley will go over the answers with you and then try the um, the mole-to-mole um, -mole objective check on your own. Okay. Hope this helps. Uh, don't wait to be great. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.